Hey, my name is Eric and I'm from Games My Hyper. Uh, today, let's look at the Ragdoll system. And the Ragdoll system is really cool because it collapses a character, but it works on humanoid characters, but also on any other uh, creature that has a skeleton. And I think one of the most important things for the system is that it's everything is replicated because that is being uh, done wrong a lot of the time. So I hope that with this system, uh, you can wreck it all easily in your games by just a few clicks on the button. Let's check it out. When we open up the Ragdoll project, we see this demo map right here. And the first thing that you'll notice is this settings section. And the core of this is that you can add a Ragdoll component to any uh, skeleton creature, uh, so a character. Uh, so we have the spawn here, it is an uh, example character, this Ragdoll. We open it up, and as you see right here, it has a Ragdoll component. And the Ragdoll component, um, um, on it, you are able to call events. So if you type in ragdoll right here, you say to ragdoll, um, uh, just like that, and toggle ragdoll, uh, and and some a uh, couple of other functions which which you can use. So let's check out how the ragdolling actually looks like. So I will press uh, play from here in this project, and it says press U to ragdoll. So let's do that. Ah, uh, nice. Uh, let's press Y to stand up again. Perfect, and this one is standing up from the front. Uh, you can also uh, stand up from the back. It just depends on how the character falls. Um, just as an example, I wanted to show you this also works on creatures. So it says uh, press one to ragdoll the deer. Boom, nice. So the deer is ragdolled. I also would like to show you that this works on a multiplayer. So I'm going to play with two clients like so and press play and in the upper left corner we have client 2 the big one is client 1 and i can press ragdoll oh that was the there i pressed the wrong button that was the one i need to press u so now the character is collapsing and you see that also on the other character to make sure your character is ready for the ragdolling only a small couple of things need to be set up and that is uh, preparing the skeletal mesh, specifically uh, the uh, physics assets, uh, to make sure there's a correct orientation. Obviously, there is documentation about it to show you how that's done, but it is uh, uh, selecting a root bone and adding a capsule shape. A couple of small things in the animation blueprint, uh, you can copy-paste the things that uh, we have assigned right there. And in animations, you are able to say a, a notify to say, hey, for when the character is able to be controlled again for uh, the input, because obviously the controls will be, be disabled when you are standing up. Um, and then it's all ready for use. So then you just call serve the rectal and everything will function uh, correctly. Hope you like it. Let me know what you think of it. And I hope you have a nice day. Congrats, you have reached the end of this video. And of course, uh, always feel free to reach out. For instance, in the comments below, find Discord or mail. And don't forget to check out our website and Discord. I'm happy to talk to you there. Have a nice day. Bye.